What is up, everybody? This is Ada Witch. We're bringing you some more coming out about to ride or ride a road as so we continue down the bumpy path of the common riders. Booyah! So, if you guys seen my tank miss special and all the other fun stuff, yes, late Christmas gift, I know. But you're getting common rider, and these are the final videos. So this one is the first, then there will be the second, then the third, and that's it of Battle Red War. Done. I'm done. Okay. So, yeah. No free missions mode and all that. But I will see if I can get my hands on that uh, Beast Hyper and the Wizard Infinity Forms. I'm going to see if I can get my hands on that. Anywho. So, CS Toys International just got a box, right? The box contains the new Genesis Driver. Or what they like to call Genesis Driver. They even showed a demo of it. And let me just say... That driver sounds like it wants, it hates his life and it wants to kill itself. I am just being completely honest. That freaking driver sounds like it, it's lifeless and wants to kill itself. Other than that, the other than that, so the middle part of the Genesis driver can actually come out and be a part of the jet of the uh, Sengoku driver. How does that work? You take the plate, like the guy plate, out and you slide the middle component of the. Genesis driver into the Sengoku driver itself and booyah there you go now it's a little weird now it's like you got a blender or something I don't know but it, it was weird when it was weird but you know what? I'll provide the link below you guys check it out it's crazy I mean the Genesis driver looks really cool I love the LED lighting underneath the belt but the one thing that kind of annoys me a little bit about it is the not only the voice but the gear, I mean, the shit is so loud. You push it in, and then the, and then it, and then um, the mechanisms and all that crap activate the LED and all. And apparently, if you hold in the lever or whatever the hell that thing is, if you push it in and hold it, it sounds like it says soda, but I think it might say soca. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but everybody's thinking when I watched that video, it was like I think it said soda. <laughs> But I will say this, it's pretty cool, but the gear thing is kind of an annoying thing, if you know what I mean. But, you know, it's a toy, we all gotta get used to that one. So, it's a little interesting. So, Kamen Rider Gaim, the new episode that just came out on TV Nihon, it reveals a lot of secrets behind the Sengoku drivers, why, why everybody got them, and why is it that, why is it that the, the secret, the secret, behind why are they in the Helium forest is revealed know what I mean so we, so going back from the last episode they went into the Helium forest to lure out the white armored rider so Kota could go do an investigation investigation shows that they are guinea pigs in an experiment from the Yadisil corporation the same corporation that takes over the town all that fun stuff and apparently freaking Takatora is a little bit of a nut job if you ask me. Uh yeah. Not only that, but Bravo went total game mode. Like you'll you'll see it in the episode if you ever watch it. <clears throat> Kota gets really pissed after the after the fact that they found out they're guinea pigs. They don't know what for, but in the end they got the they made the deal with Sid, they brought back Loxeed and he told them straight up, We are not guinea pigs. Because when he heard that term, it really set off Kota. So, that's one down. So, in the previews for the next following episodes in the new year, it'll reveal that there's going to be a lot of issues. Like, Kota throwing away his driver because of the whole guinea pig situation. The energy riders are going to make their debut. All that fun stuff. Mai's going to meet her Helium counterpart. That's going to be more interesting. I want to see that part too. So it's going to be a lot of crazy. You're going to see that and all. Um, so in Judy Said They Kill You, Jer. Which I just watched. Apparent. So. Continue on from last episode. Fighting. Day boss. Around the world. Another question. Why target us again? What did we ever do? Are we the reason for your toy sales failing or something? Is it because they're not buying? I don't know. I don't know. Everybody kicked everybody's ass. Booyah. There you go. 
the Yamasantas apparently are still alive because there's clones of them. Blah blah blah. But they're not the Golds. Here's the shocker. Endoff returns in the episode and just wants his revenge on the Gold. Yes, Endoff makes his return. He broke out of the he broke out of the armor. Not only that, but it was revealed that the Yamasantas were actually under control by Endoff the whole time. But what makes the story a little bit more interesting is revealing why King, why Daigo himself was left, you know, alone in the middle of the desert when he was a child. Why and what's up with the King name? It was revealed that his father, King, his father is King. He's supposed to be King of the Earth, apparently. <clears throat> kind of find this a little ironic. Yeah, I find it a lot coincidentally ironic. So, <clears throat> besides seeing dynamic chops and all that, he, this is crazy. It was revealed that he stepped into light that came from the land, the golden land itself. And because of that, he gained the ability to hear melodies of the earth, knowing if it's in danger, knowing what's going on with Deboss, all that fun stuff. So he earned the name King. He's supposed to be king of the planet. But the only reason why Tor never called Daigo King is because, well, he isn't, you know, truly the King of the Earth. You know what I mean? It was just a name given to him. Or a name his father, you know, he overheard his father have that name about. So, yeah. Maybe in the next episode or so, we're going to see Daigo's father turn on his own son. Who knows because he went to go set out on a final task at hand which we have no idea what that task is so <clears throat> gonna have to wait and see but in the next episode it's also gonna reveal Soji's mother comes back what the hell a lot of other shits going on what the hell Soji's mom comes back but also new travelers are going to arrive so yeah new travelers yet they're not really revealed only in the scans it were revealed but other than that we don't have names so it's getting a little interesting also for for all those who kind of judge Tokyuja a bit Resha Sentai Tokyuja the new one that's coming out in February around February 14th or so you're gonna be in for this one I'm also gonna put in the link below about their background story as in the characters what's the story of Tokyo Joe all about it's really gonna make you change your mind about the series I honestly thought oh trains it looked a little interesting I'm watching sure but what really got me interested is the fact that this this series is all about imagination so it's basically almost like a keep a ranger in a way except it's not a delusion it's about it protecting people's imaginations so there you go, no worries, child. Eat your heart out. Was it Akaki? I forgot. Akiba Red, eat your heart out. There you go. That's all I gotta say. Eat your heart out. Yeah! Train Shaki! Train Slash! Yeah! Spin, spin, spin! I'm the Deno, motherfucker! I'm the Deno! Yeah, I know. I bet you all are wondering, how is it that I just went right through all all of uh, Eternal slashes that made them look like make him look like a chump? I know, right? It's kind of hard to control uh, liner form a bit because seeing that, of course, uh, <clears throat> Kotaro is a little bit on the slow side, so it's a little tough. But I figured, but I got it anyway. I don't like that kid voice, I swear. But here's another news. Um, apparently, the original actor who played as uh, Inui Takumi is going to make his return in the new Kamen Rider, Kamen Rider movie. Not Kamen Rider, Kamen Rider movie. Hisei vs. Showa era movie. Yes. He's going to make his... Apparently, it might be possible he will make his in suit, as in the voice himself. Which, which is true, the voice himself as Fies himself. And possibly coming out of the suit himself, so... It was also revealed he was dyeing his hair, so that could be it right there. You missed! 
though I'm effed right now. Nope. <laughs> I'm dancing. I'm spinning. I'm doing the twirl a laurel. I'm dancing. I'm spinning. I'm doing that twirl a laurel. I know I'm weird. You want proof? You'll get your proof. In the link, it'll also be a link below. Jeez, sorry. I know I'm loud. I'm probably yelling in your ear and you're probably thinking, I'm wearing headphones. I'm going deaf over here. Me, it's I really don't care. Come here. I just want to dance around you and do a twirl a -lurl. Twirling. Uh, I don't want to know what happened there. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, look. Here we go again. No, Navi. Why don't you die? Why won't you die? Why won't you die? Seriously, you're in more annoying. You're really annoying in the game. I mean, let's just be completely honest there. You're just super effing annoying. My goodness. Okay, I never just got so annoyed over a character in a video game my whole life. Huh. <sighs> yeah, so links below, all that fun stuff. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless and all, and I will see you guys later for more of the final rider road with Deno. See ya.